You find your red crayon. We're gonna draw some circles. Circle, round and round. Whee! Can you fill it all in? Red circle, round and round. Red circle, round and round. Find a green. Today's Sing Me a Story is Laszlo Learns Recorder, written by Vicki Weber, illustrated by Masha Klott. Laszlo Learns Recorder. <laughs> Good morning, class. I would like you to meet our new student, Laszlo, the teacher says. Laszlo stands in front of the classroom. He gives a shy smile as he sits down on the carpet with the students. Laszlo is nervous. What if no one likes me? What if I make a mistake? He thinks to himself. Hi, Laszlo. My name is Amina, the girl next to him says. With a smile, he shakes her hand. <laughs> All morning long, Amina helps him with his schoolwork. Together, they practice their math facts, read stories, and even play hide-and-seek at recess. Okay, class, it's time for music. Line up by the door, his teacher says. We get to learn music? Laszlo asks excitedly. Of course. Prepare for more fun, Amina answers. They walk through the door to the music room. Laszlo notices bright colors all around the room and some strange symbols. 
that he does not understand. Miss Marmoset, the music teacher, greets them with a smile. Good morning, everyone. I am excited because today we will start learning the recorder, she says. What is a recorder? Laszlo whispers to Amina. I don't know, she says with a shrug. Miss Marmoset begins passing out long tubes with holes in them to each student. Laszlo thanks her and holds his with confusion. This is a recorder, Miss Marmoset explains. It is an instrument that requires practice and patience. Miss Marmoset plays a short song on her recorder. Laszlo smiles. Wow, it sounds so beautiful, he thinks to himself. Miss Marmoset then shows the class how to hold the recorder using their left hand. When you play the recorder, you only need a tiny amount of air. Place your hand in front of your mouth and practice using quiet, gentle air, she explains. Place your own hand in front of your mouth and blow just like the lemur. Can you try it? Next, we need to learn the notes on our instruments, she says. Miss Marmoset uses her first finger to cover the top hole and her thumb to cover the hole in the back. The first note you need to know is B. It looks like this. <laughs> B, 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 B. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, there's Mr. Repeat. B, 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 B. Laszlo tries to play a B, but instead it makes a squeaky sound. It doesn't sound anything like when Miss Marmoset plays her recorder. Ouch! Amina covers her ears. I'm sorry, Laszlo apologizes. He tries again, but it makes the same awful sound. Laszlo starts to cry. I'm never going to get it right. Poor Laszlo. Miss Marmoset approaches Laszlo. You get it, Laszlo. When your recorder makes a sound you don't like, there are two things to check. Number one, your fingers might be letting air escape. Make sure each finger is completely covering the hole. Laszlo shifts his finger and he tries again, but it still sounds squeaky. This is impossible. Don't give up now, Laszlo. What is the second thing to check, Miss Marmoset? Amina asks. Well, you might be using too much air. Remember that the recorder needs a tiny amount of air. Laszlo lets out a sigh and tries again. A beautiful sounding bee comes out of his instrument. I did it! He shouts with excitement. Miss Marmoset smiles. I knew you would. Our next note is A. It looks like this, she says. Look, two fingers. One, two, one, two. Play along with Laszlo. A, 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 repeat. 
A, 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 A. Miss Marmoset walks around the room, helping each student with their new notes. Next, she draws a pattern on the board. Laszlo raises his hand excitedly. Miss Marmoset, Miss Marmoset, those are just the notes we just learned. And in a different order, he exclaims. Very good. Let's play these patterns together, she says, smiling. Oh, let's see if we can do it. B, 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 A, B, 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 A. A, A, B, B, A, A, B, 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 A, 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 B, A, 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 number four. B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, one more. B, B, A, A, B, B, A, A. Wow, you did a great job. Excellent playing, everyone. Place your recorders in the cases and remember to bring them with you next time. <laughs> when I see you next, you will have more notes to learn, so make sure you practice B and A at home. Miss Marmoset escorts them to the door. That was so fun. When do we get to come back to music class? Laszlo asked. Don't worry, Laszlo, we get to see Miss Marmoset again next week, Amina responds. I can't wait until next week, he says with a smile. He picks up his recorder and he plays his own patterns with B and A all the way home. <laughs> the end. What a great story. Laszlo Learns Recorder. I hope you liked it. <laughs>
let's grab a purple crayon. We are going to draw a letter J. Do you know what a J looks like? We're going to start with your pencil way at the bottom of your paper. And we're going to give it a little bit of a dip to make it a J. There we go. That's a J for J. We're going to go around like a P. Got it? And then the last step is to go wee like a circle or a snail shell going round and round. <laughs> All right, now next, we're going to draw five lines, okay? Five lines. One, two, three, four, five. But it's okay if one line kind of goes off your page. That's just fine. Okay, now we're going to find the third line that we drew. Can you count with me? From the bottom. One, two, three. <laughs> we're going to draw a circle on that line. And that is going to become a note. A music note. Do you know what note it is? Do you remember from our story? It's the note B. Lazlo love playing the B. We're going to give that note a stem. Next, we're going to draw the note A right beside it, okay? What we need is to count to the second space. Space one, space two. Now we're going to draw a circle in that space. Got it? And a stem. <laughs> we can color those notes. The B and the A. Wow, you're doing such a great job coloring. Next, we are going to make this. This is called the treble clef. It tells us to play high sounds. We're going to make it extra dark. And you can just kind of trace and color on your line all the way around to make it look beautiful. There we go. I just want to be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, next step is we're going to color the whole page. Well, we're going to shade it blue so it looks like a beautiful sunny day. So let's go ahead and shade that all in lightly so you can see all the other purple showing through. So there aren't any white spots hiding. <laughs> there we go. Now, we're gonna need a few more colors. Let's take red and we're gonna color shade this guy in right there. And then we need yellow. And one more color, green. Right. Our beautiful musical masterpiece is complete. <laughs> music with Miss Deb. <laughs> or you can write your name underneath. Say music with your name. I'm going to say music with Ms. Deb. <laughs> you did it. A treble clef and the notes B and A. What a great job you did today. <laughs>